Hey, it's Creeping Net here with a uh, video um, of a machine you've probably seen before on my channel years ago. It doesn't see a lot of attention right now, so I'm letting it go so one of you can enjoy it yourself. It is a 1989 or maybe a 1990 Macintosh SE FDHD. It's got a 6 megahertz Motorola 68000 processor, um, 1 megabyte of memory, 20 meg... Or, Possibly the original hard drive, which runs flawlessly. Um, 144 meg floppy drive, perfectly working, reading and writing too. And with it we got a of the period Mac keyboard, Kensington ADB turbo mouse with this cool feature here. You can plug the original Mac uh, mouse into. And speaking thereof, we have two versions of the Mac mouse here. Um, I wasn't aware of this until I broke both these out today, but yeah, I have one version that has the black ball and this kind of attachment, one with the gray one. I'm not sure which one's newer and which one's older. All I know is both of them work, and I have used both of them. And it's kind of cool in tandem with that because you can just do whatever the heck you want. You know, in some games you might want to play with a mouse, some games you might want to play with a trackball. I mean, that's the beauty of this machine. Um. Getting started, I have the getting started guide, as you can see. Um, it's a little weathered, but you don't see these very much anymore. That much is for sure. I mean, you can see it shows you what to do with your Mac. Just a cool little piece of history to keep with it. Nothing else. A little frayed in some areas. Uh, I've got a pack of nine floppy disks right here. Um, these are IBM formatted, I know, but they came with some Mac stuff and someone was reformatting them to Mac. Just a little education for you guys if you're getting into Macintosh. Um, these 1.4 meg, meg floppies are pretty much the same disks that you find for the IBM PC. Um, the only difference is the formatting is different. You have Mac format and you have IBM format. And a lot of these disks, when you bought them, they came pre-formatted for IBM or Mac and it would say that on the box. But that didn't mean you couldn't reformat IBM floppies for Macintosh or vice versa. So, I've actually done it before. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but these, but overall these work. These probably have some software and stuff on them. Mainly the Mac OS, I know. So then whoever reloads this can reload it with whatever they uh, have. Um, I do have some applications on here to kind of show the machine off as I have wiped and reloaded it. Um, it was at one point an X school system computer that someone used for personal use probably after it was decommissioned and then it was discarded and I bought it used and had it on my uh, bar back in Everett years ago. Um, so, And that's pretty much all it's done is played games its whole life. So anyway I'm gonna show you oh another cool feature this has the debug buttons on it, or I guess the programmer's buttons. Um, not sure what's the correct term. Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> um, we'll show you how to start the whole machine up. Flip that switch and back, just like an old PC. This power button doesn't do anything on these uh, classic style Macs, so, but they provide keyboards with them because they were used with other Macintosh machines. As you can see, it takes next to no time to boot up at all. And this thing's actually reasonably quick for one mega RAM. And we'll go take a look at it and show you what's running. We're running Mac OS 6.0.8 using about... You can see the memory management on it. I haven't really done too much tweakage to this. Um, I just wiped and reloaded it so it had what I had on here. Um, I put basic 3.0 on here. I'm going to be offering that up later. Um, Loom doesn't work. I couldn't get it working. It would have been cool if I did. Um, so maybe we'll look at Wheel of Fortune. This is a pretty cool little game for it. Show the capabilities of the Macintosh. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune with Vanna White.
see we got the hard drive turning away down there. Getting the game started, and there you go. And we got that. Let's just play. Let's spin the wheel. Just a secret about Wheel of Fortune. The reason why in the final rounds they uh, put R, S, T, L, N, and E is those are the most common letters. So if you're lucky and you get a common phrase, you can basically win the game. If you get a common phrase, it's usually what I start with on most of these. It's a playing strategy. See that? I just did R and I did S. And they both work. So, you know, just sort of showing you that it works. Yeah, let's just quit. So I'm just going to, but when I ship this off, it's going to be a uh, cleaned up Macintosh system that you can start with. Uh, free and clear, so no EULA entanglements or any of that kind of, no legal entanglements or any of that. You know Apple actually provides an operating system for free on their website for all these old Macs. Um, one last thing to demonstrate, I'm going to turn the contrast down a little bit so we can see more of the system while I work on it. It's a little trick because of how CRTs work. As you can see, we have the floppy drive here, and you stick the disk in. There's no status indicator on Mac. You see that pop right up. So it reads, I just formatted this disk before I... Uh, showed this so there you go you have a nice freshly Mac format floppy ready to go in a way you would jack a Mac uh, formatted floppy disk on an old Mac is you just drag it to the trash can and there you go it just ejects it right out <laughs> and um, to shut down a Macintosh like this you go up to the uh, special right over here I'm trying to get a good go back to special here and then you go down to shut down and then that tells you it's okay to shut down your computer and it's been like that full years before Windows 95 and you just go in back like this and turn it off there you go the monitors nice and bright and crisp on it um, it's got all the standard ports and uh, yeah so if you want to get this, I'll put an eBay link in the description, and uh, thanks for watching. Can you stay tuned? Maybe there'll be more stuff coming up on my uh, channel that I'm putting up for auction.